Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on the uh, NES Classic Edition. Um, I did one a while back on the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. And I actually got this after the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. The Super Nintendo version was much easier to acquire than this one was. Um, I kind of got lucky with this one. That's the only reason I ended up getting it. Um, but I wanted to do a uh, kind of like an unboxing, even though I've already unboxed this at one point. But I wanted to show you guys the boxing. Um, kind of what's inside and then just kind of take just a brief uh, look at it and then kind of even give my thoughts and uh, just a quick review on it. Um, so this is the box right here. Uh, it's very similar. I think it's pretty much identical in size the boxes to the uh, Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Um, you have the uh, picture of the console and a few of the games that are on the front. Uh, on the back side you're gonna see uh, you know a bunch of the games that are gonna be in there. There's 30 games uh, unlike the Super Nintendo, which I think had about 22 or so uh, games in it. Uh, no surprises in this one like there was with uh, Star Fox in the uh, Super Nintendo version. Uh, all these games were originally released uh, on the Nintendo. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop it open here real quick. You just got a tab on the side. It's very cool how they basically made this box to be pretty much like the um, original boxes were. Uh, so it's kind of cool how they... Uh, packaged it and made it look just like a, you know one of the other boxes might have been uh, if you have one of those uh, here's the packaging as you can see you've got the console which is right here um, really tiny as you can see in my hand I have decent sized hands not huge by any stretch but uh, I mean you can see um, the console is really tiny really cool though uh, you have working uh, buttons right here on the front um, power and reset uh, the power button turns it on, the reset one uh, basically uh, resets the system as well as um, takes you back to the menu. You've got your uh, Wii style controller ports right there. Um, then on the back uh, you've got a simple HDMI out as well as a DC in for your USB cable. Uh, this does come with a Nintendo branded HDMI cable as well as a Nintendo uh, branded uh, power adapter. Uh, otherwise it's Pretty much it. I mean, there are some, there are some fakes out there. So this is what the bottom should look like. Uh, there's a couple really good fakes out there. Most of them are pretty obvious, but this is what it should look like if you're wondering. Uh, but that is the console itself. Now, unlike the Super Nintendo version, this one comes with one controller, and the controller is perfect as far as the buttons and the d-pad and the size my one issue with it is this ridiculously short cable i know it's going to be hard to tell but this cable is a probably about maybe three foot if that and it's it's kind of a joke i mean they, they did sell adapters for this um and you would have to have one otherwise you'd have to have the console sitting right next to you in order to play it so um I mean, it's really disappointing what they did here. They did sell an additional controller that you could buy separately. Now, if you were to go and try and look up or purchase one on eBay, those are expensive. Those are actually, just the individual controller I'm finding is more expensive than the actual NES Classic Edition console itself. So good luck finding an extra controller for this thing, especially one that's in the box and ready to go. Um, you can find the extension cables. I believe there's even some aftermarket cables uh, for this controller that you can purchase. There are some uh, third-party controllers that were made, some uh, third-party NES Classic Edition controllers that, that were made that do have much longer cables. I've seen them in Toys R Us. You can also find them on Amazon. Uh, but that's the controller. Otherwise, the controller is exactly as you would remember an NES uh, controller would be. It's perfect in every way with the exception of this ridiculously short cable. So that's a look at the controller. Uh, also inside the box, um, you're going to have the manual. Uh, so this is your Nintendo Classic Edition operation manual. Not really much to say about that. You know, just going to tell you how to hook it up, how to operate it. And then inside of the box, uh, this is where you're going to find your cables. So this is your Nintendo HDMI cable. As you can see, it's uh, it is branded if I remember correctly. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. It's branded, it's right there. All right, and then you've got your USB. Now the, the one downside to the USB uh, power cable that they gave with it is they did not give an adapter. Now, 
I don't know if this is normal. Mine didn't come with an adapter, but I guess you got to provide your own adapter, which kind of sucks. Um, but this is the power cable that it comes with. Um, and like I said, you got to basically, I guess, find your own adapter unless it's supposed to come with one and I didn't get one. I don't know if you have one and it did come with one. Let me know in the comments below because I hate to be bashing Nintendo for not including one if they actually do normally include one. But I didn't get one. So uh, who knows? Um, but that is uh, basically the components. Um, as far as my thoughts on it and maybe a brief review. Now, I don't keep this hooked up all the time. It actually spends most of its life in the box. Mostly because I already have most of these games for the original Nintendo. I've got a decent sized Nintendo collection. I have most of these games for it. And so I prefer to pop in the cartridge. I got this because I thought it would be a cool collector's item. I'm not looking to sell it. I'm not trying to flip it and make money off of it. I'm keeping it for myself. I do take it out from time to time and play with it. So it's not like it's just sitting around collecting dust. Um, but it, I, I'm not, it's not plugged into my TV all the time and I'm not always playing with it. Uh, so uh, it is a cool system. I think the game selection was pretty good. Um, if you just take a quick look on the back here. Uh, there's just a brief look at the games again. Um, the game selection was pretty good. You got a lot of really good classics on there. There's a couple that I would have liked to have seen, but, you know, out of 30 games, I would say that most of these games are just excellent titles. There's a couple that I could probably do without, but most of them are really good. Um, the actual menu system is very similar to the uh, Super Nintendo system uh, was. So if you're familiar with that menuing system, uh, the software then, um, you know, you'll be right at home with this one. So I do like that. I think it's solid overall. The the games look great, especially through HDMI. I have no complaints about the color and the sharpness of the games, and the sound is excellent as well. Um, my biggest complaint, honestly, is, is the controller cable length. I mean, there's... I don't know what Nintendo was thinking when they were uh, creating this and releasing a cable that was only three foot long, but... It was really a foolish move and you absolutely have to get those cable extensions in order to really get much use out of this unless you're able to sit it, uh, you know, pretty much right by your, um, t unless you're able to sit right by your TV and play it. Uh, so overall, I really like it. Uh, would I recommend buying it? If you can find this for around $100 uh, today, you know, and it's, it's March 2018, the recording of this video. Um, if you can find it for around $100, I would say definitely go and get it. If you were to buy a Nintendo and try and purchase the cartridges and all of the games that are included in this, you'd be looking at a few hundred dollars easily. So the value is there. The amount of games, if you love the Nintendo system, you're going to get playing time out of this. It's going to be worth your money for about $100. I probably wouldn't go too much over $100 just personally. Um, I don't know what the eventual market is going to be for these things. I don't foresee Nintendo making any more of these. Uh, the the uh, supply was a little bit better for the Super Nintendo version, but for these ones, I don't see them making any more of these. So it's it's quite possible that we may have, uh, you know, a you know a very highly sought after piece of uh, gaming uh, history here after you know so many years goes by. So if you find one, pick one up, especially if you can find one in the box. And if you're around a hundred dollars, I would say that's kind of the the perfect price range for this. I believe it was about $60 retail when it came out and um, you're never going to find it retail anymore. So if that's what you're waiting for, I'd probably give up on that, but I would definitely try and find it for at least $100. If you can do that, I say go ahead and grab it. Um, definitely worth it in my opinion. Uh, but that was a quick look at the NES Classic Edition. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's a great little console, a great little piece of Nintendo history. And uh, for those of you who are nostalgic for this console, if you grew up with one, it's kind of a must-have. I mean, I had one of these growing up. It was a Christmas present. I remember the day that I got it. I still have my, um, you know, Nintendo console plugged into the TV over there, and I use it all the time. And so it's just a great little piece of hardware to have. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching.